Lucas Media. So Turk Al Sheik was recently doing an interview with Talk Sports Boxing, and he he was asked several things, talked about several things, but one thing was about bringing the price down of boxing, you know. So let me play this audio for y'all, and then I'll get back with my thoughts. Fair use. What I dream, uh, the pay per view uh, with good price to make the fans happy and subscribe and get watch it legally. Now, when you go historically, right, even if we go back, most times people really pay for something with boxing. Deep pockets, they were legendary fights, right? 1882, yeah, it wasn't on TV, but John L. Sullivan versus Patty Ryan in 1889. John L. Sullivan versus, you know, Jay Kilrain. And, you know, even the, the fight of the century between uh, Jack Johnson and Jim Jeffries. Jack Dempsey versus the Jess Willards and when he fought Gene Tunney uh, in 1927. And... The Joe Lewis versus Max Schmelings and the Rock and Ro Rocky Marciano versus Joe Wilcox, the Muhammad Ali versus Sonny Listens, and Rumble in the Jungle, Thriller in Manila, so on and so forth, right? Mayweather versus Pacquiao's, the Wilder versus Furies. These are mega fights that people should be paying for, and people want to pay for. Don't nobody want to pay for Keith Thurman versus Tim Zizou at 80 something dollars. I'm sorry, nobody wants to pay that. And boxing has ripped off us fans, man. At one point, you had HBO and Showtime, and you know you got to see majority of the the B and C level fights on there. But now they want you to pay for the B and C level fights, and then they mad when people use illegal streaming. But it's like, come on, man, well give us the fights we want to see. But they say, no, nah, man, you don't know what you're talking about. Uh, the fight ain't ready. You want to wait ten years to get a fight. You don't think people would have paid for the Wilder Joshua fight if they would have fought for unification? Two undefeated fighters fighting for unification? Now, if you want to give us B and C level fights and you charge five, ten dollars or get a, a solid subscription, fine. But y'all ain't got too greedy with this money. Uh, between the suits and the fighters, it's like everybody, everybody thinks they're gonna be like Floyd. And that, in a sense, hurt boxing. Even though Floyd showed people how to get their money, Floyd had to work up to that for years. People coming to the game now with just complete politics. Everybody's afraid to take a loss. But everybody just read to you, majority of people took losses. Even Earl Spence versus Terrence Crawford. That was a fight people wanted to pay for. You know what I mean? I remember back in the day when it'd be a mega fight. You know, you have a fight event and everybody come over and People bringing food and drinks back when fights was, what, $49.99? But you're going to charge me $84 for that. Even Canelo, the Canelo fight coming up. I'm sorry. I'm not paying $84 for that. I'm sorry. Or however much it is. I'm not paying that. If I'm going to pay that, I want to see him fight David Benavidez. But then they'll say, well, he don't deserve to fight David Benavidez. And then certain people will stick up for A lot of fans will stick up for Canelo, but it legally streamed the fights. Then they say Uxic vs. Fury had 20 million downloads. Illegal streaming? And it's because fans are so shell-shocked from how we've been treated. So now this is the chickens coming home to roost because boxing has did people so dirty so long as fans. The fans then got tired of it and said, you know what? I'm just going to watch everything for free. But somebody like Turkey al if you can come in and get solid prices, like even when Wilder and them fought, Wilder and Josh, when everybody fought on that car back around Christmas, I think it was maybe $40. I paid for that. To me, that was worth paying for. You know, if you're gonna if you're gonna make me pay for something, you need to give a, a every fight need to be stacked from beginning to the end. Don't give me four C level fighters and to be mad. I want to pay for that. So I do want to get my quick thoughts about it, man. Shout out to Turkey Al Sheik. You can see he's trying to make all the fights, and you know, when he got into the game, everybody. Everybody, you start seeing all the fights you pretty much want to see. <laughs> we got unification at heavyweight. You have Tyson Fury versus Francis Ngannou. You know he made a he made him a star. Get a bad for they had their own video game. Ngannou versus Joshua had their own video game. They got Bivol versus uh Better Bev coming up. You know what I'm saying for unification at at a light heavyweight. So he's giving you the fights you want to see before between HBO and Showtime. And it was it was way too many politics for the top a level fighters so yeah no nah, man you know i hope he can do that i definitely support him more and i'm sure a lot of y'all would too but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it tell me what y'all think